In this video, you'll learn how to implement Google Ads remarketing and conversion tracking for Shopify via Google Tag Manager and Elevar's client-side and server-side tracking. If you have your Google Ads conversion IDs and access to your Google Ads account, this will only take a few minutes. There are three, four steps in total to take to get live. Number one, you need to install Elevar's data layer. Number two, you need to download the Google, Google Ads pre-built container and import into your GTM web container. And then optionally three, implement server-side tracking. And then four, testing on go live. So let's jump into each step in a little bit more detail. So inside your LOVAR account in your data layer, the first step that we need to do is make sure that the data layer is installed on your website. And this is going to create these site-wide events that happen like viewing a product, adding to cart, completing a purchase, that these capture and push all of the data that is needed for Google Ads into the data layer that can be viewed and used in all of their tags. So here's an example of the Google Ads remarketing tag, which is the view item remarketing tag and the data that is being passed in this particular event. Once you have the data layer live, then you need to move on to the type of tracking. So typically there are three total types of tracking that you can utilize. You can just do client side only, which you can just think about Google Tag Manager Web Container as being client side only, or you can do a combination of client and server side or server side only. So let's take a look at the client side tracking setup first. Inside the Elevar app, you'll see our pre-built tags. And what you can do here is search for your Google Ads remarketing tag. And then we'll go through the process of downloading and importing this into your web container. Now, please note, we are actually in the middle of unifying our user interface that combines our server side channels with our web containers. So if you are watching this video and your interface looks slightly different, everything will live in the destination and it fun functions the exact same way in terms of downloading, importing, and using GTM. So let's go ahead and walk through the process of getting client-side tracking live. In your Google Ads account, under your audience sources, Google Ads tag, you'll simply take the conversion ID that you find here, drop this back into your container, download, and import into GTM. Once inside GTM, you'll notice that you have all of your Google Ads tags already set up and they are pretty much done and ready to go. You'll see the event names, the different data associated with this event, and ultimately uh, customer data that we attach to this as well. The only change that you may need to make here would be your product identifier. By default, we have product SKU as the main content ID or product ID that's being passed. If you want to change this from, let's say, product SKU to using a product ID, variant ID, or something different, you can click into the variable and we provide instructions on how to modify this. For your conversion events, there is an additional step here. So you'll see the purchase conversion event and inside Google ads, once you create your purchase event or use an existing one, then we'll go through the tag setup, grab your conversion value, and we'll wanna paste this into our conversion value here. Now you can create additional conversion events. If you want to create conversion event for add to cart or view item, you can do that. And we have additional guides available on our knowledge base. Once this is done, you have your remarketing tag set up. You have your conversion set up for purchases. At this point, you can put GTM into preview mode and go live when you are ready. If you are utilizing a GTM server side container, you can also access in your server container, you can also access a few of our pre-built integrations for Google Ads server conversion events. Again, if we go back to Elevar's dashboard, search for our server side data, you'll see a very similar processes here where you will download containers, implement them into your web or server side container, 
and then make the various adjustments to the variables as we outline in each guide. So that is it. Once you are live, you can monitor your conversion events inside of Google ads. And if the tags inside GTM, if they have ever have errors like missing conversion value or broken variables, you'll see those show up inside your web container error reporting as well. So that's it. Good luck setting up your Google ads remarketing with Shopify.